Yeah. What time are they gonna kick us out? Like four? I don't know. Oh, like, is it four? What out of this oh, room? Then we need to hurry it up. Who they said? They may just. Yeah. When will they lock us in here? That's. The I think you say you can have it until that. you can go until you're done. You're my seat dog. You can uh, have this one. Sorry. What do I do? Uh, all right. Let me. Yeah. Uh, all right. Wait, are we waiting for Kenny or what's what's, what's going on? We, we can probably on start without. I'm just yeah, going to tell just, him to, just start <laughs> to get back. We're starting. Give me just a second. Test, 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 yo. Test. All right. Test. I think this is this is definitely on. <clears throat> There's Kenny. Yeah. Oh, there you are. All right, cool. I just uh, start with that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Nice. <laughs> I guess we can all wear them while they, uh, yes. that'd be kind of like... I told her right, she gave me yeah. a yeah. with the 360 so cam. We, we are 360 live here <laughs> as right. well. We are 360 live. Gunter's live. Do you need uh, retweets? Are we retweeting this? I, I think we should probably because nobody's going to know that this is happening. Yeah, yeah so let me get on that too. All right, well. Oh, yeah, we're going to retweet. Everybody play off the phones. I'll retweet <laughs> this I'll picture of Gunter. Phones. He looks like Captain Caveman. Uh, <laughs> Captain <laughs> Caveman! And son. Hey okay, guys, everybody's trying to get things set up here, so. Maybe he is Captain Caveman. Who's that? Who's Caveman? Are you talking about you that? What? I you know, don't. I know Captain no, Caveman. How do I no, say no to my own? Son. My stuff. son. How do I Maybe? switch her? I might be related to him. I do hope you think has, you were adopted? I hope I can. No. No? Well, I don't know. My father's missing all my life, so. Dun, dun, dun. You might just be. I might. I might. That could be I might just be related to a cartoon. You might have to change your your pseudo name. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a bunch of people here going to do. Oh, let me podcast. know. Podcast. Adam J says behind the scenes of your favorite podcast. That's right. Yeah. Yep, I'm here. My wife Heidi just joined. Hey, babe. <laughs> oh. I'll go around. And you'll hear introductions later. Where's the tweets? Just, I don't know. I'm still trying well, to figure out. Well, this is weird. I'm like watching the. I see the lunch cast. Are you watching the video? Gunter live on Paris. <laughs> My wife says, "Hey, caveman." No, oh, wait, that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's hey. earlier. Never mind. How you doing? How can I Zing. see my <laughs> own? Uh, I guess I could show Gunter's my face. Gunter's live on now. Hey, you know what? Keep look, th hello, look there's there's your there's Thanks your periscope right there. Pull up. There, uh, <laughs> can <laughs> you share the link? <laughs> share the link on All your fun. Twitter. Nice shirt, thank you. Yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah. That's we shirt. need the share of the link the of video? the actual live stream. Got one for him. So this is the live stream. Hold on. What, so we'll gunners say or the pound that, VR. That one, the 360 one, right? Uh, SVR okay. Ubercast. Food. Eleven people watching. Welcome. We're going to get things started Super soon. Is Hello, 11 people. That's a very strange name people. to have. 12 people joined, too. Those are really weird nicknames. Yes. Olivier, welcome. All right. Uh, I just missed the hey. Uh, All right. The there person. you go. I just tweeted from Sorry. Pod VR. So Feel free to. And then I'll retweet it from my other account. Repeat on the stream. Which one? The 360 one or the one that Gunnar's doing? All right. So I'm now watching it okay. on Google Cardboard. See, so Thanks, this is man. you watching the, uh, yeah. Sweet. This All is right. pretty gnarly. Ubercast is live. Science. Ubercast Della. is Science. live. Hey, Mad Man, what's up? All right. Someone just sent me a message. Chris Miranda. That's right, right. Interview our podcast, and now with Vivid Vision. Ooh. Indeed. All right, people you guys ready to do this? Here, I'll bring it in, and then we'll go around the circle, introduce everyone, blah, 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 blah. All right, so what I'm going to do is, usually <coughs> when, when I start my podcast, I'll do, um, start recording, do 10 seconds of silence to, like, catch, like, the fan and get, oh, so you have get that, that normalized so you know, noise yeah, removal yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. So if okay. I were okay. to go... So, no, 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 you can keep the fan on. Well, I can no, turn on the sound. What I'm just saying is, like, we should, like, both record, start recording at the same time and then just. Uh, <laughs> 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 and then be quiet. All right, so you, you already rec you already running or not? Yeah, I am. All right, so I'm recording. Alex says hi, Kenny. All right, shh. This is for. You ready? All right. This is the third Ubercast at SVVR number three, and I'm Bilardo, and I'm going to go ahead and pass it around to my left. So I'm, well, first of all, I'm Bilardo, PodVR, da-da-da-da, 
And who are you, good oh, fine oh, sir? Oh, I'm Gunter. Gunter S. Thompson is in the house. I'm having a great time here at SVVR. Uh, you may know me from the Metaverse. That's where I hang out in the Metaverse in VR chat. Uh, and uh, I run a show called Gunter's Universe and do all kinds of cool events here in VR chat. Come check us out. Cool. I'm Chris Miranda. I host the InterVR podcast and I also do some stuff with Vivid Vision. Um, I also host a, meet a meetup called the Metaverse Scholars Club. Um, and I'm just happy to be here. Cool. I'm Bob, a.k.a. Cosmic FX. I am the host of the Left Handed VR podcast and co-host on Gunner's Universe. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Reverend Kyle. And again, as usual, my voice is very sultry at the end of the expo, for I have done nothing but talk for three days straight. <laughs> Thanks for watching and listening. Hi everyone, my name is Josh Spear. I'm a VR enthusiast and indie game developer. I'm just happy to be here. I'm Ken Nichols, also known as K-Dog, and I am one of the producers on Gunter's Universe and Virtual Cameraman. Uh, so as you've heard earlier, uh, we uh, do a uh, talk show about VR in VR, and come check us out every Tuesday. I'm Keith Kaisershot, programmer. I don't host anything, but I do work for a, a little company called Other Ocean. I make a work on a little game called Giant Cop, which I showed off at the floor today, and people seem to get a big kick out of. So I'm happy to be here, happy to hang out with you fine people. Just want to clarify, it's cop. Cop. With a P. Yes. Okay. <laughs> giant Cop. Yes. Giant nice Cop. Business. Thanks, Kyle. You're welcome. Um, pull over. It's Giant Cop. Got, got to probably <laughs> carve out the front for the, for the viewers out there. But so. the listeners there. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Clear. Yeah. So, basically, this this, I mean, for some of us, it's the third year that we've been here, and the compared to the first year, how much has changed? We actually have a consumer product that's out in the wild, and... I'd like to get into that a little bit. Like, what do you guys think? How how do you think the consumer launch is going for developers and consumers? I, I really I want to start by saying for the twelve people that do have their consumer products, I'm sure <laughs> they're very Woo excited about it. Yeah, I have mine. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> it, it it's. Did you feel a different vibe? Not vibe. Mm. Did you feel a different vibe? I I think there was a little bit because I think that that was kind of the holy moly moment of we need to have products out now because content is you know we need stuff because after you play you know ninja space trainer pirate space trainer and then you play giant cop uh, and then you play hover junkers and then you play Eve valkyrie and then you play lucky sail then, then then you play Titan of Lust, and then you pl play anything by Justin Moravitz, what, what are you going to have left? So, more content. Or VR chat. Important. Yeah. <laughs> or VR, VR chat, you don't play VR chat, you live That's in right. VR chat. <laughs> so, your primary complaint is that there's just not enough. Well, it's not a complaint, it's an observation right. that everybody needs to start focusing on content. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're past that point of discovery. There's no discovery, but year one of SVVR was discovery. Year two was uh, assembly. Oh. Yeah, well, but assembly. Trying and, to be profound. Sorry. Year three is deploy. So people need to start deploying. It seems like HTC um, it has caught wind to that to some degree. I think so. Um, that a hundred million dollar fund seems to be something that's been overdue, mm -hmm. um, but I'm glad it's out there now. Um, and hopefully the investment climate um, as it stands will get better because it seems like 2016 has had a little bit of a, a down curve in investment overall in Silicon Valley. Um, VR seems to be in this kind of weird bubble twilight zone space where there's still investment coming in. And um, But yeah, it's, uh, it's really interesting to see um, how this year is coming along so far. Walking the floor um, this year, I look around and I don't know, maybe you guys have a, have a bit of a uh, number you could throw out, but it looked to me like half and half hardware and software. And as far as software con was concerned, not a whole lot of games this year. Um, I mean, I was showing off a game, obviously, and then um, Life of Lawn was out there. And uh, 
I think. Um, I mean, the Wave isn't really a game, but Sweet Escape was right behind me. And um, yeah, but don't you think developers might be going into super stealth mode because they don't want to show what they're working? That's on? true. I mean, Olivia didn't show this year. Blair wasn't here this year. Um, yeah, but a lot of it was, I think, timing too, because it's true. I don't think when they planned SVVR that they knew it was going to be almost. You know, right on top of when everyone's getting charged for their riffs. That's true. So that's very true. That that's got a oh, huge not, problem. Not mm-hmm. just riffs, riffs and vibes. vibes. Yeah, I got, I got charged cheap, for, right? So I got charged for vibes. both of mine this month. Yeah. This yeah. month hurts financially, mm-hmm. and yeah. I think there's a lot of other people that are in kind of like that same boat. Financial yeah. exhaustion. <laughs> Five yeah. nothing. I'm buying a new 980. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that too. Yeah, video people have had to upgrade. I've had to upgrade my machines. Like you're not just t- talking about. And then the games. Like what? You want games to play? Some of these games coming out are 50 bucks mm-hmm. <laughs> a pop. Like, yeah, I have a small library of games right now because I can't afford to go out and buy all the games I want to buy luckily, and support the developers I want to support. Luckily, too. there's been a lot of porn released recently to keep you <laughs> occupied. <laughs> you know, where is this? Speak for yourself, Kyle. What? <laughs> porn up. Come on, Chris. Porn up. Porn up. Good to go. Yeah, porn up. Put yeah. out. A they got free... uh, the videos. Yeah, yeah. So it's free yeah. live, li- not live stream, but free recorded, re- recorded streaming of VR porn, porn videos. Yeah, so consumable via it, HMDs. It's free and a box yep. of Kleenex. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I haven't. I just got here today, so I haven't been here since the start of the conference. Can you guys like fill me in? What happened? Like, there were some good upload parties. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> so I heard. Yeah, I heard you guys got. Well, Kyle was a little out of it a little bit when I saw him this morning getting coffee. I'm like, well, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> um, right, what did happen? Um, no, Upload had a party. There was... Um, did you guys go to a, a space beach? Six, 600 no. people <laughs> in a spot about the size of this table. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there were drinks, lots, lots and lots of drinks, and what appeared to be little pieces of meat on sticks. Um, I, they could have just been rats, I don't know. <laughs> and then we went to karaoke. Karaoke? Yeah. Karaoke. Yeah. Um, not in VR. Not Wait, where's this karaoke at? We went to a dive bar called, called the Dive, the dive <laughs> Bar. Oh, that was <laughs> clever. I like that. Very clever. And uh, we had a good time. And it was, it was interesting because a lot of us had sung karaoke together virtually. Right. We practiced. Well, so it, plenty of practice. I, I don't know. Gunter, I've never in real life. What was well, your, I've never done right, karaoke in I, real life. And neither had I. Yeah. And now here we are with a bunch of people who we didn't know at a bar we kind of didn't fit in at, I don't yeah. think. What What was, I mean, what was your reaction to that? Yeah, it's fun. I didn't care about when anybody was stopped. Probably because in VR, I don't care what anybody else thinks. But either. let me ask you a question. If you had never done it in VR, uh-huh. don't you think your reaction to la- that night would have been different? Yeah, I probably wouldn't have done yeah, it. Yeah, you wouldn't like, have done I it. I never did. All Neither the other times would before. I. I would have never done it either. Yeah. But VR erased that inhibition because we had done yeah. it virtually mm-hmm. so many times that I'm like, let's do this. That's crazy. Yeah. It's profound. But yeah, we did that. And then first day was mostly press at the expo floor. Yeah. Second yeah. day, there was other people. And then, uh, then space, uh, space VR kind of took over that day. They had a party. They announced their funding. Announced so their funding. For people and, I haven't known, I yeah. believe they got funded to go to. Is it just to space? I would hope. Mm-hmm. Is it to the yeah. moon or like no? Uh, uh, lo- hold on, I learned a term: Leo, low Earth orbit. Yeah. Um, and so they built yeah, a satellite. They built yeah. a satellite that will go and do low Earth orbit and spin around Earth and take pictures. Yeah. Yeah. How are they going to get it back? It crashes. I would hope. Why do they want it back? Not yeah. gravity. Yeah. <laughs> or, well, no, it's just yeah. going to, oh, that, okay, I get yeah. you. So, wow, well, yeah, goes, I don't get how what, the storage What works. goes up must come down. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's it's video, right? Like, it, it is, I, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know how we're going to consume it. I would imagine that it's a lens and a capture device, so they could probably do both picture and video. Yeah. Sure. This yeah. must have fast internet. Yeah. Well, when you're up next to the satellite, you know, maybe it's 
we'll just plug in a little yeah, Comcast satellite yeah. and a docking station to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. That's how satellites work. Yeah. That is how uh, satellites work. Tell other satellites on there that you have latency problems and you can't compete. So Palmer showed up briefly. Simon Bruce interviewed him. I couldn't see it. I was did working a fireside chat? All they did. Of, all of there was no minutes. fire. Yeah. I was pissed. 20 minutes, huh? How'd it go? Uh, yeah. It was 20 minutes of fluff. Yes. Yeah, I thought it was Not, kind of no, boring. No disrespect to either one of them, but it was a little... VR games they talked about. They, they talked... Future I mean, gaming. Right. Like, you know, if, if if you could be any color of crayon, what would you be and why? Yes, yeah. It's like, I didn't know he was trying to be Miss America. You know, how would you change the world if you were crowned Miss America? I know, America? like, one of the questions yeah. he asked, like, Tom Palmer couldn't answer, and, like... He, Everyone knows he's not going to answer that question, right. like about what you know. What, like, what's what was your favorite? Your favorite? Yeah. What was your Come favorite? On, like, experience? Everyone's asked him that before, mm-hmm. yeah. and right. who's his favorite Reddit poster? Yeah, yeah. 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 So what? What did everyone would think of that? Um, do we really want to get into? That? I don't know I if I want to open that can of worms. Hey, I you mean, know what? We, TV. No, wait a minute. To be do fair, you think it was valid? To be fair, if Palmer was here, would you bring it up with him? Yeah, I'd ask him. All right, because I here he comes, Paul <laughs> Malik. <Malachi. laughs> <laughs> Behind door number one. Matter yeah. for me. Actually, just, he was invited. I think to come Palmer handles things Uber. fine in some cases. Sure. I think this was not handled so well. So I agree. So I think you they know, can't all he be just gems. he just needs to stay away from the social media a little bit more actively. But 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 we want more content from him. We yeah, but constantly Reddit, crave Reddit for his too, comments. Do we want more content from him or more content from Oculus? Ah, aren't they the same? Uh, he's the face of Oculus. Is he? But, uh, it seems to be. Like, that's that's how he's carrying himself well, on social media. So but should that be the case? So we have to ask ourselves a question. When you have other companies, other than Oculus, you have a marketing person. Mm-hmm. You have the face of the company as mm-hmm. the marketing person. The CEO comes out pokes us out and says, hi, here's our announcements and our money and our funding and stuff. And then you've got CTOs and you've got, you know, all these other chief whatever officers and, and scientists and stuff. Palmer's title is founder. Uh-huh. Is he the only person that's allowed to speak for Oculus? Right? No, absolutely not. So who should we be hearing from? Someone who's better at public, PR. Public, public. Someone. There I should mean, have be Palmer some is company the fa- PR. Yes, Palmer is the founder. He is the leader of Oculus. And when you're a leader, you find people that are better than you at things that you are not so good at. Right. So, the president has this cap. Yes. Right? Nate exactly. Mitchell has been the smoothest operator in front of the press yep. that I've ever seen. Yes. I nominate Nate Mitchell. Nate, I, I, I second that motion. Yes. Nate Mitchell, step up to the plate, man. I mean, and no, do what and say and talk what on behalf of Palmer. But no disrespect to Palmer, but I think he should take a step back. You know, dude. On per- based on personal experience, social media is crazy. It's hard. It's not yeah. easy. It's, it's totally different. It was like, one thing yeah. when the subset was really small, but now we're talking everybody, right? Like, yeah. like mm-hmm. it is so yeah. big. Like, if you've been on Reddit in the last, I don't know, four months, three, four months, it's horrible. Like, yeah. you can't. You, there's really no good news coming out of Reddit right now, or if it is, it's getting buried. Uh-huh. Like. Yeah, I'm talking about Oculus. Or Oculus, specific, yes. Yeah. yeah, specifically because of the the VR wars that are happening right now. Not that he, not that he should listen to me or anybody, but like I think his priority should be to have his head down and work on Oculus Touch to get that shit out there as fast as they can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's that's where he should be. Like CBT. it's his head project, right? Good, so he should be on that. On I'm sure Palmer will listen to this podcast. He does. He's not gonna listen. <laughs> <laughs> You never he know. I mean, he said. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they do listen to the mm-hmm. podcast or have people that listen to it for specific things that are being said. Right. Yeah. I mean, that wouldn't be out of. the I don't know if I agree that Palmer needs to step back. I, I feel like he just needs to establish himself as not the authority. The ruler. Not not the authority <laughs> on what's happening. If you want to talk about marketing, you talk about marketing to the marketing person. Mm-hmm. You want to talk about evolution of technology you get a brash or whoever come or carmack come out and talk about you know here's our cool stuff if he's gonna be the commando to run the charge for touch then you ask him questions about touch and he talks about touch sure why do we care what his favorite game is really seriously cult he's of the personality yeah. Well, it's yeah. yeah he's kind I don't of know. That's that's little what, cult that's personality maybe? maybe he's also maybe. not your normal like person that's talking for a company he's very unpredictable at the things he says yeah. and I think he 
That's true. He creates excitement for everybody outside, and they're excited to see him talk in front of big groups to see what he's going to say. Yeah, he's you know? fun to watch. Like, yeah. talk. What's yeah. super hot? Super hot! <laughs> Steve Ballmer. <laughs> that was... <laughs> You're oh, yeah. like, what? That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know. It's it's almost, like, it's it's comes like out Steve Jobs and his yeah. reality distortion feel. You know, anything he says is like taking his gospel by the following, you know? Yeah, so, his I mean, disciples. most people are going to love... They love that aspect of him, but then are we allowed to hate him when he comes out and says something bad? Here's why you're allowed to hate him. Because of the schism that occurred between the Vive and the Oculus subreddits. Now that there's this great divide, used to be everybody just loved Palmer. Yeah. Now there's the, you either love him or you hate him. Because you're on this side or you're on this side of the argument of which one's better. He is taking the brunt of the fact that there is this schism in the VR space. So... Well, what do you do? I wonder if that's by design. I wonder if Oculus has him as the, you know, the public the face. The fall guy. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's the plan the whole Disclaimer. time. Disclaimer. Yes. <laughs> wow. These are opinions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I just thought it was interesting. Like that whole post just came out of nowhere, and just the simple fact that he replied back to him, I was like, man, just yeah, you gotta all drop, you got to do is that. not say anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. Because he's being real. He's doing what he wants to do, and that's how I think people should be doing it. it yeah. might not, be. not when you're the face of a major, major company. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah. Uh, if anything, I mean, he's he more like he's not Steve Jobs. He can't get away with it. And even Steve Jobs almost couldn't get away with it. The only reason he did is because the internet didn't exist when he was doing all this shit. So. I, I would say keep doing it. Yeah. Keep doing it. Get in people. there. Keep talking to people yeah. because the autobiography is going to be that much more interesting to read. Okay. Well, good it. luck to him then. Yeah. Play on, player. Play. That's what we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so the flip flop man. Yeah. What else has been going on? Is that the name of it? I don't know. know. Where's well, Sony? hey, hang Where's on Sony? a second. Flip flop maybe we could, maybe we could talk a little bit about the three years that's transpired for most of us since we first went to the first SVVR and how it's impacted our lives. Like yeah. Gunter, for instance, how has your life changed since the first time you put on the headset? Oh, it changed a lot. It uh, uh, allowed me to find other people uh, all across the world via social media or social uh, VR. Um, now I'm here hanging out with all you awesome guys. You know, here I am working in the metaverse. I may be the first person that's made money in the metaverse via donations. I don't know. I don't know anybody else doing anything inside where are you social making, VR? Well, where, where are you getting donations at? Patreon. Patreon, yeah. And so, do we you have dates on those donations? Maybe we could actually, you know, confirm that. <laughs> Maybe right you now. are the first, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Is, Check your records, man. Like it was right around the time Kent Buy started doing a Patreon, but again, he doesn't do a show in the metaverse. So, so that's pretty cool. Just uh, I think that's neat. Uh, um, and working with VR chat. So now they're paying me, and that means I'm now working in VR. And this is a big deal for me, right? I'm doing things that I dreamed about since I was like 13, dreaming about VR coming. So. Here it is, and got to meet everybody. And because of things like SVVR or VR Chat or Oculus Connect, yeah, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. I'm so happy. What about you, Chris? How's things changed for you since you first started? Uh, a lot, man. A lot. Um, SVVR, without a doubt, changed my life. I mean, it sounds cliche-ish to say, or it sounds weird to say like that, but it did. It did. You know, dropped out of grad school, quit my job, started the podcast. Went balls to the wall um, to see if I can like really pull this off, um, and it kind of paid off. Um, you know, I'm now at a point where like things are looking up. You know, working with Vivid Vision, things are looking are doing well. Um, you know, we we don't like to say this at optometry conferences or medical conferences, but we're pretty much killing it. Because um. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda, not a speaker. Wow. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. Nice. That's <laughs> right. Miranda wins. So then, so yeah, and, and then you know, enter VR still coming along. You know, taking a little break, but um, you know, it, v, SVVR um, has been the catalyst for me to you know turn a new page and begin a new chapter of my life, wherein I get to meet the coolest, most craziest, most weirdest fucking people in the world. And it's a true privilege. It really is. It's awesome, and I'm grateful. And I can't wait to look back 50 years from now. And you know, once we're all transcendent, you know, interdimensional beings inside of some sort of matrix, <laughs> we're all going to be wondering, man, remember that third SVBR when we were looking back at the first three years? Man, were we naive? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, space. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. 
for Mom? me, yeah, for me, um, right after the first SVVR, I start like month and a half after I start my podcast, and then we had the second SVVR, and right before this one, a couple months ago, I started hosting on Gunner's Universe. So um, you know, things have been progressing for me, just like doing more content and and, and that sort of thing. Reverend Kyle, my life. How has your life changed in three years since the first SVVR? Is a the 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 coin has flipped. It is a completely different universe for me. I mean, I am living twenty five hundred and seventy two miles different from where I was living at that time. I have moved my entire family. My lifestyle is different. My job is different. My outlook on life is different. It is uh, almost as if I won the virtual lottery. And (laughs) I, I owe a lot of it to taking that gamble, taking that risk of... It's important to go to SVVR. It's important to come to these expos. It's important to be involved with all of this stuff because who knows how long or how quickly or what the future will bring, but it's going to change. It's going to change everybody's lives. And I feel very fortunate and blessed for having experienced what I've experienced. I mean, I've seen some shit, you know, and (laughs) it's it's pretty crazy, but... uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for the world, man. Sweet, man. Josh, I know you've only been around for a little while since I brought kind of yeah. let let him first see the first uh, Vive demo. Or yeah, whatever. I just kind of aspire to be you guys in the next three <laughs> years. I mean, I've just kind of been been around with uh, going around to these these conferences with Brian for the past few months and tried on tried on some VR in the past year or so. But I already I'm just trying to get as much soaked in as I can. I've, Got both headsets. I got just got one delivered. Got the uh, vibe shipping any day. Hopefully, they just took my money. But uh, learning, uh, learning the development, and just meeting new people, and trying to get out there and see what we can create. I and mean, that's just it. It's it's completely open. We don't even know where this is going to go. But yep. there's so so much to do. So I'm just excited about where we're going. What about you, Kenny? How uh, uh, things changed? It's uh, been a very profound uh, change. Like a, a very big surprise in my life uh, because before this I was pretty much you know doing IT sport getting ready to transition over to like a web development and then virtual reality happened and uh, it uh, it pretty much changed my perspective uh, now that I'm you know deep in this and like you know seeing like you know stuff on a 2d screen and, and you know just that whole flat world um, and then getting into VR it's like oh okay this is I think what I want to do um, it's, yep. it's just you know it's been great. Um, there's a, a quote uh, I heard recently, and I think this fits kind of, you know, this whole thing is, uh, you know, the two most important dates in a person's life is the day they were born and the day they found out why. So I think Whoa, that's one of the things. Oh, dude. That's that's heavy heavy yes. <laughs> and VR is the reason, I think, is, you know, this, you know, whole VR thing is, uh, you know, I think the why. Is, is the why. You know, I'm visually impaired and and uh, I see this technology as like one of the most accessible and I think it's gonna help out a lot more people than I think uh, most in the industry might be aware of at this time. But we'll, you know, we'll see as time goes on, but I'm rooting for it. Yeah. yeah. Now Keith's been around for a while, even though he must I, say, I can't follow that up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, this sound really I think I remember, <laughs> Keith, I think I remember him being at the very first SVVR meetup I went to, which may have been like the third or fourth one. I've been at every SVVR except for the first one and this past Thanksgiving. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So I remember Keith being there before me even. So. Mm-hmm. And the reason I wasn't at the first one is because I didn't know about it. I came to the second one because Tipitat told me about it, and he's everywhere, right? <laughs> Tipitat's probably been to every single one of them, right? So, yeah, he got me into SVVR, and let's see, when was the first SVVR conference? 2014, right? Yeah. yeah. So, 2014, that would have been, was that April or May? April. It was May. Oh, it was that's May. right, May. Okay. Last two were May, and this one's April. Okay, right. so oh. May means I probably would have just finished or just got running my VR Tron game, and I didn't show it there either. It was like, I think first publicly showed it at... 
uh, OC or Oculus Connect that year, the first one. So it's like since then I've done that. I've done Innovox for the uh, mobile VR jam, and now I'm working on Giant Cop. You know, finally getting paid to do VR, which is what, which I've, is awesome. which is what I've wanted, <laughs> which is what I've wanted for years already. So finally, somebody somebody higher than me has either in the sky or at work. Somebody else like, do it, please. <laughs> somebody else do it, please. Oh. Higher than you. Oh, come on, Kyle. <laughs> you made that joke uh, the other Kyle night at the upload party, party too. I'm it's sorry. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. It's I want to make fun. one clarification of SVVR. Not everybody that's uh, listening would understand uh, that SVVR is, also, is a monthly meetup, but we're at the SVVR conference that happens once a year, and this is the third one. <laughs> Technically, it's kind of a meetup because they don't have a meetup this month because of the conference. So this is like a super meetup. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's like supercharged, right? If you want to get, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember, well, so for me, like, the SVVR has been very important. Like, I remember the first, well, the first Somatic Bruce video I saw, I knew once I had seen it, um, it kind of changed everything for me. And then I ordered the kit, got the kit. And, you know, from then, when we started doing the podcast three years ago, the podcast has been a huge, huge success. Just watching it grow as it has grown and seeing the numbers and then talking to people from all over the world coming that have heard, like, the podcast or heard the stories from the Ubercasts and just or know, like, your voice just from, like, the Palmer cast. Like, I get – that happens. Like, that's crazy to me. Um, not to mention – learning game development over the last three years like but really doing it I'd always kind of not jumped into that sphere as I thought it was just too much but it's become the point where you can you can be a solo game developer and actually make something really compelling and you know bringing that from a, a product to to getting on the gear VR store and just seeing that process work and understanding that the VR is going to be the next level like and we don't know shit about what we're doing and we're learning, and but it's there's no limit to, to what we can do and the capacity that we're going to do it in, and that just excites me. And then coming, and SVVR is just a place for us all as friends just to get together and see each other. Like, I mean, I've never had this many friends in real life that I have now. Like, I genuinely look forward to coming out and seeing you guys, you know? Same. Oh, so, for sure. Yeah, totally. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> dry, dry your eyes. So, <laughs> for those of you who are watching on the uh, 360 video, well, let's, let's talk about our setup here. So we've got two blue Yetis because Bob brought his and, and Brian's got his. Uh, and then we also have a Rico Theta S in the middle of the room uh, streaming uh, live onto YouTube, which is just a thing that just happened. Then we also have Gunter doing Periscope. So if you're not consuming this live right now, how, how many people do you have? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, so th hello to the U12 and to however many people are watching it yeah. uh, live on YouTube. And then it will be consumable on YouTube, and it will be consumable as a podcast on multiple... Uh, in other words, if you've not heard this podcast, if you've not gotten this content... Where do you live? You have no but, excuse. Right. But so for the people <laughs> yeah. who are just listening and they can't see us, we all have a pair of sunglasses on. And these sunglasses mm -hmm. are brought to you by Cubicle Ninjas. Yep. Cubicle yep. Ninjas. Uh, they, they were handing Thank out you, Josh. Thank, Thank you, Josh. Absolutely. Um, but I have to make a comment. I'll tell you what. These are terrible HMDs, man. The screen, <laughs> the screen door is <laughs> <It's> hurting <laughs> the my The contrast eyes. is terrible. It is just oh, really rough. I mean, you can totally see. You got the screen door effect? I can yeah. see yeah. the pixels are huge. Uh, <laughs> but they are yeah. stylish. <laughs> they are. And I bet they were made in China. <laughs> so is the Rift. I mean. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> Does he force his people to wear those? All I don't day? know, I don't but know. it's just it's just kind of funny. See that kind of boss? You, you look mm. at things differently. Oh, I don't care. Wear the glasses, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Put them on. Yeah. I'm not putting these off. Put them on. No, I mean, uh, man, what what else? What else is well, happening? I was so, going to bring this up, though. Oh, I mean, here, here we are with the, with the, the sunglasses, and they've got these like weird pixely dots and stuff. Have you guys become VR snobs yet? Where kind of, you watch yeah. a 360 video, and you oh, I can see the seams. I can you know the, the, you can tell the pivot's not right. I can tell where this conversation is going. You know, you're talk about the Ozo. <laughs> I wasn't going to, but you brought it up. All right. No, have you guys become VR snobs to the point where you see a new piece of tech 
and you immediately see the goods and bads of it. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, so since you brought it up, Keith, take well, us down that path. As, as a programmer, you know, I'm yeah. always looking out for bugs and because it's my job to fix them, right? So they kind of pop out to me like sore thumbs. But, you know, I'll, I'll take the conversation direction you wanted, Kyle. Go for Let's it. talk about the Ozo. So I got to try the Ozo today. Um, Owen, fr- formerly at Sixth Sense, told me to try the recorded demo yes. thing on the, on the Gear VR, and I did. Mm-hmm. And uh, it looks... It looks really good. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, the seams, you can tell there are seams. They have not perfected that. Uh, the directional audio is pretty good. I really like that. Um, I can't really tell, you know, the, the stereo separation isn't profound enough that I can tell that it's being shot in stereo. Yeah. So it kind of looks, it looks a tiny bit step up from John. Sorry, John guys, I love you guys, but it's a tiny bit better than theirs, but on the other hand, their camera costs like what, sixty thousand dollars? That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, I think it's a sixty thousand no. dollars camera. No, I don't. What, what cost? What, what value? What price do you put on it? How much was your Theta? Three fifty something. Three fifty. Yeah. yeah, and it. What? What do it seems look like? So the seam is seem it's it's pretty good mm-hmm. um, because they're it's overlapping and so you're gonna see a little bit of black top bottom whatever right but the resolution's low mm-hmm. so when you're watching this if you're watching this on cardboard right now I'm sorry the resolution just is inadequate especially yeah. for live the resolution on that is supposed to be up a notch or two or two. On the Ozo, they and say it's 2K per camera, right. right? And there are eight cameras on that sure. on that bulb there. Yeah. But what I was watching, maybe it just maybe it was just down sample, or maybe the codec was bad. And we it were just, watching it on a Gear S6 mm-hmm. 2K screen. Yeah. All I know is that that camera did not wow me. Yes, I agree. Now me neither. Aura. Aura for I. Another camera that showed up. I've not played with that. Uh, it's very similar to like what Samsung is showing the, the Gear 360, and it's a step up from the from the Theta. It's you know 4K, all these different cameras. I, 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 prosumer level, mm-hmm. fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars versus sixty thousand yeah. dollars, and quite honestly, I I don't see that there's a huge difference. Now, I know there's two there's two parts to this. There's mm-hmm. hardware, and there's software. Uh, somebody much smarter than me on this part said it's not the hardware's fault it's their stitching software sucked so that might be but I'd have to see somebody take that hardware and do something good with it then. yes and that's fine another thing I want to bring up is um, the Theta and the Aura you were talking about yeah what is the capture frame rate because the Ozo is 30 Right. 30 this FPS 30. in VR? Yeah. No. I thought it was, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, it yeah. was up on the slide when they were during not, the keynote. Not good. 30 yeah. FPS in VR? No way. 30 FPS. For only $60,000? Yeah. Only 60000 Yeah. No. I mean, you got to be able to push. And I understand that a lot of this stuff, it's like they have to be compatible for mobile or whatever. Right, right. I'm not expecting somebody to be wowed by this video. This is a novelty. Mm-hmm. This is and nothing this is but a novelty. Too. Right. Yeah. Consumer level novelty. Look at what you can do is you can watch something live mm-hmm. in 360 with your HMD if you have virtual desktop <laughs> <laughs> or a Google Cardboard. Big desktop, you know. I think, is the new thing. Yeah. Right, whatever. Big but screen. That's what they call you want to be able to watch it. You want to be able to consume this. You can't consume this through your Vive or your Rift without virtual desktop. Mm. You can't. It's YouTube. YouTube 360 content can only be consumed through Google Cardboard right now. I know because I can do it yeah. right here. Huh. How, do you, how do you watch 360 video? So I can't do it on YouTube. my gear VR. Right. Wow. Right. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Everyone's got to have their own platform, man. Well, I you guess. Know, but got to push Google Cardboard. So there's a lot of cameras rigs today. Mm-hmm. I mean, there was... Uh, not one, but two robot cars with cameras on it. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, you were the first person I knew who had a Rico. You had the OG Rico, didn't you? Yeah, I remember he took yeah. the original picture. I, I love that picture. Conference. Yeah, it was so awesome. What, what, what's your stance on cameras right now? These days? Yeah. It feels like they haven't progressed as fast as I expected they yeah. would when I first got a hold of one. Right. It seems like, um, I don't know where the bottleneck is really, but it just seems like... Uh, you know, my expectations haven't matched, haven't been matched up to this year, and yeah, um, neither on price or quality, right? Which is kind of weird. Three years of evolution. Yeah, I don't get it. Where I don't it? know where's the well, who, where who the ninety I hertz cameras. Right. Yeah. Ninety yeah. hertz. Come on. Four K, 
12 lens. Yeah. Something. $200. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when is uh, Google's jump thing? Well, out? jump is, jump, what yeah. is that, 20 GoPros? It's right. like $6,000. Have you guys tried the cardboard camera, though? Yeah, I, I, a couple it's okay. times. It's, it's not bad. Give or take. It depends on the lighting and all that nonsense. But yeah. I don't know. I mean, I want to be able to go click. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, you know what we need? S- spherical CMOS sensors. The sensor in the camera is the limitation. Mm-hmm. It's not the lens. It's the, it's the sensor. Sensor has to be spherical. Uh, I don't know how that works. Yeah, it, the, the way the camera works is there's a little sensor and it's square uh-huh. or rectangular. And then the lens brings the light in and it goes again so it makes what your traditional camera would be. Mm-hmm. Or your picture would be a flat, you know, 4 by 3 or 6 by whatever. Right. We need to get away from that. We need to be able to have a sensor that can capture in every direction. I don't want to say 360 because it's not really correct, but the same as people think 360. We need to have a point at the bottom where it'll be black, but everything else will be captured by this this spherical sensor. So, so here's a crazy idea I was thinking about the other day. Sorry, Keisa. Sure, no problem. Um, that I want to bounce off you guys' head. Um, so would you think there would be a possibility that if um, Oculus tried to use uh, a 360 camera to get room scale, um, do you think that that's even possible? Like you have two 360 cameras diagonally from each other in a room, and then they capture as much light, as much information as possible. So it would be like you'd put a sensor up in one corner of your room, and then another sensor in the other corner of your room. Kind of like that. Yeah, and, mm. then, it would, and then it would capture. I wonder if anyone's tried that. Every, mm. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, there you go. Never know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so Kyle, you're saying that. Uh, Basically, the lens is doing all the work of capturing the light into the square CMOS sensor. Right. And we need to actually take the burden off the lens right. and make it more of the we, we capture need, we sensor We need the itself. sensor to be bringing in gotcha. light from every direction, spherical. Do you think the lens just isn't enough to well, make that I happen? Mean, or? N- no, it's the limitation of the sensor. We have to stop thinking about the sensor as a 2D object. It has to be a three-dimensional spherical sensor. Have you spoken to anyone that's working on something like that or is actually yeah. trying to crack Curious that code? Curious to see no. any research in that direction. Yeah, uh, no, I, I honestly have no idea. So I'd be, maybe I don't know, somebody's listening to this right now slapping their forehead and going, God, that's it! And then he's going <laughs> to fix Or someone it going, it and, Kyle, you idiot, we can't right, do that. Can't do spherical <laughs> sensor. I don't know. I don't know. All, I mean, I could be talking crazy talk, but yeah. it's just... But logical to me. It's, this it sounds is logical to me. Podcasts are for. I don't know yeah. anything about CMOS totally sensors <laughs> or optics or. Well, get what on about, it. Who about light fields? Anybody see anything? Not hear anything? We don't see oi toy here. No oi toy. Mm-hmm. No, no. Yeah, there Where was, was uh, a we'll talk about it. Right? Where's the light field guy at? The guy that's always doing light field stuff. Who? Fruxus? He's, he's, yeah. he's not here either. So, not here. yeah, Sightline, the chair is out now, though, for... Oculus? Yeah, I think, or Steam. I don't know, it showed up in one of them. Hmm. It's out now. Yeah, he's got a Steam. Yeah, he kind of went under the radar, fixed all his stuff, and released it, so... Well, good for him. There it is. So... Does everyone here have Rifts and or Vives or both? Got my Rift, yeah, yes. Sure. My Rift showed up on oh, Tuesday while I'm on travel. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm the so opposite. you haven't got to play anything then? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I got, I've had the Vive for like three weeks, so I've been playing So with what would you mm-hmm. say your favorite experience slash game on the Vive and the Rift are? Ooh. Well, I haven't actually tried my Rift yet because it's yeah. got here. But on so far, it's probably been Audio Shield. Dude, Audio Shield with a sub pack. In your oh, chest. Snap. <laughs> dude! Some packs are $75 off. Except Holy they just shit, it's next level, dude. Is yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Dude, even though... Even double though sub pack. One on your chest, one on your back, too. Do that. And just feel it. You feel it in do your body. Do a triple one. Wear one as a diaper. Yeah, like right, <laughs> in, uh, right in, the, in your cooch area. You know? Be perfect. Yeah. Even though it's, even though it's like a little, you know, little buggy. I don't know where you're going. Start off, it's still... Who developed Still Audio Shield? Do we know? Same guy that did Audio Surf. Some legendary yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dylan Fitter, I think guy. his name is. All right, well, props to you, Dylan. And, yeah. and, and you know, know everyone's here? talking about Everyone loves it. Uh, the people I know that aren't in our circle, like even that's, the, they love that and they'll play the hell out of it. I've had, so. I had one person not like Tilt Brush and I was like, wow. Well, yeah. yeah, I had I one person not like Tilt Brush 
So uh, these brushes so And I was like, <laughs> I was like, so what? So what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna draw here. Like, okay, what am, just, what am I gonna draw? I'm like, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. I got something for you. So I put him in uh, audio, audio shield <laughs> and in selfie tennis. And he's like, all right, I get it, I get it now. Selfie tennis. I got surgery. a cool story. The the guys that made that climbing experience with the the Candyland and you. Um, oh yeah, Monster VR. Yeah, well, that guy. Yeah, went, that's fun. We're gonna talk about tilt, tilt brush though. He was like, I took mushrooms like a month ago and got tilt brushed. It was the best thing ever. You gotta do it. Just drawing shit all over myself and just like freaking out. And so I was like, this guy's awesome. He's gonna like, come on the show sometime. You know how to party. Let's party. Yeah, exactly. Let's party. <laughs> uh, my favorites, I think. Space Pirate Trainer. I don't know. It was just kicking ass. Another, you know, getting work out from it. Uh, I've got my uh, CV1. I'm digging Kronos, actually. Kronos is a lot, a lot of, of people fun. are worried about paying 50 bucks for this. Definitely pay 50 bucks for Kronos. It's, it's, it's worth it. It's a solid. Like, and you're going to get a lot of play time in it. Yeah. Is it uh, true? But 50 is a little steep. I understand the hesitation. <sighs> It's yeah, like Dark Souls, though. It's hard. I love it. Playing on Heroic, and it's just, I'm getting so much out of it, because so got to try hard. We just got a rift from Best Buy, because we're still waiting on the uh, on the one from uh, the pre-order. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did, you, did you order it online? <laughs> <or did you? laughs> no, no, we went to Best the Buy. Same thing. They actually <laughs> had <laughs> the physical stores? Uh, we no, 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 we ordered. We ordered online. Like we ordered online. Okay. Um, and yeah, and so we got we got one of those, and... Um, and but but the question that uh, I wanted to ask you guys is um, so so Steam has this thing where like you can return a game after two hours, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and I've heard people complaining in the subreddit about how if you try a VR game on the Oculus Store, can you still return it? Can you get your refund? Uh, no. no, and that that and even though even if it makes you sick, like if, even if Mike isn't yeah. that like a legitimate reason to not want something. Like to get your refund, like, hey, this is making me sick, can I get my money back? Yeah, playing devil's goals. advocate here, getting sick is very subjective. Like, how do they know that you're telling the truth? Right, but you go to Costco and you buy a TV and you go watch the Super Bowl and then you can return it and you can just tell them, like, I mean, at the end the of the TV day, made you sick? Yeah. <laughs> you can really do that. Costco does that. I mean, it's, it's fun. Like, the way Steam does it is it's like once in a blue moon, if you do this, that's fine. But if you abuse it, they will basically blacklist you and, like, you can't do this really? anymore. Really? So, um, Oculus could adopt a similar policy, and I don't see there being a problem with it. Yeah, I don't see it either. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I, do you think they will? And do you think it'll hurt their sales if they don't? It hurts their sales hurts because do. everybody yeah. else knows that Steam is doing it. And so why can't Oculus do it? Yeah. See what I'm saying? And then is everyone going to expect everyone else to do it? Because not everyone else does has that same mentality, right? It's do a really good thing Like Ubisoft, have, do they give you your money back if you want a refund? With their platform, or yeah, or no, they're, they're not the one VR selling platform. it though. I mean, well, okay, I guess you could do like DLC or something. Yeah, Ubisoft has their own okay. platform. All right, so and then and then also the same thing with EA. So yeah, Origin doesn't have that. Yeah, so if you download something, you're like, I don't like this. You PlayStation, know. can I give a PlayStation game can, back? Can I go you? to GameStop and I can return a game. A game physical games. Days. Physical. So that's physical games. This no. is brick and this is the brick and mortar conundrum of what happens if I buy a VR headset from Best Buy physically go to the store and purchase it uh -huh. in July or August when they're on the shelf just speculation uh, and then I don't like it or it makes me sick or I can't get the setup right or it doesn't work with my 1987 Packer Bell <laughs> what, what you know do I return that hell what yeah what happens? You, you sell it on eBay to someone in a country who yeah. doesn't, <laughs> doesn't have a sell it to China boys yeah. you make it I buy it sell it to you um, no I are there safety concerns with taking headsets back? Because, I mean, they're right there up next to your face. I don't, I mean, well, I don't there's know. There's a problem with you don't wipe down the lenses. People get pink eye from oh, using VR headsets. Oh, well, that's only at PAX because those people are dirty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, well, Sorry, PAX listeners. The only ones that are talking about that. You know? Yeah. yeah I, 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 have shared, that I have shared. I have shared. I have put more people's right. faces on my face <laughs> than I would like to admit. Yeah. By sharing HMDs. And there's nothing wrong with this mug. I've never had any problems at all, ever. I mean, they don't have like eye gonorrhea and stuff. I mean, is that a thing? Because somebody was talking about. Maybe it's just a carrier. What was it? HMD TDs. Yeah. <laughs> HMD TDs, transmitted disease. HMD TDs. I think I might have caught something in my eye, but I'm still kind of torn on whether it was. Trying something out at the Unity Summit, or letting my dog lick me in the eye by accident. 
<laughs> dogs' mouths are very clean, Chris. They're so they say. No. <laughs> That's what the they're dog lobby not. wants you to know. <laughs> it's okay that they lick their balls. It's all right. Yeah, you know? here, Ken <laughs> here has the... Um, the VR, VR condom? Yes. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I got my go. VR covers coming. Do you guys... Are you um, VR cover people? You know, it's funny. I, I tried, uh, for a company. Does that tried the leather one. Does Oculus face? Yeah, uh, somebody had know what I'm talking about. It really right? made me sweat. The red so ring? Yes. <laughs> what, 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 okay, <laughs> hey, Oculus where's, where's I'm Taro sorry. here? Yeah. This is... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. No way. That's... VR condom. You know, it's is, like yeah. shaped like the Oculus symbol, too. That's... Careful they don't sue you for uh, trademark infringement. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's their own fault. That's the that's the Oculus ring. Did you see that well, company not that a has the cardboard? Totally it's cut, the car, the plastic cut, cardboard uh, headsets that have, yeah, it's here, copying so. like almost verbatim Oculus's like box. I thought someone was no, carrying Oculus's out of here, but it was actually theirs, and they have that logo with a guy that's looking straight up like the logo from Oculus. <laughs> you know, awesome. I would love to know who that dude is. Like, does he know that he's... Well, the poster cool. boy. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Who's the poster boy of Oh, Oculus? the dude that's doing this? Like that? No, the no. guy that's like this. Like, isn't that Will Smith? Will Smith. No. I think no, 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 that's no, a different no, no, one. The, uh, the official Oculus one. Oh, right, he's going straight up. Yeah, he's straight up. up. Yeah. Looking straight up. Uh, yeah. He's the brother or cousin of somebody. He's somebody's <laughs> Most definitely, yeah. right? Someone the photographer knew. Yeah. <laughs> Here, put this on your head and look up. Huh? Huh? <laughs> so, Sony is... They're about to start... Who? Sony PlayStation, Sony VR. They're about to start showing um, demos, public demos in May, I think. Do you think this is why fine weren't they public here? demos? Yeah. They, they, were, they, they, were, they, they were here the first two years. Well, yeah. at GameStop, I think they're oh, going to in May. They're going to start like like putting in taking all and their demo. Or they're going to have demos. All you just walk right in and see them play. And I think the same thing has happened with Oculus. Oculus is going to Best Buy. They're going to be in Best Buy. So here in the next two to three months, we're going to start seeing all this stuff in retail. And hearing a lot of reports of pink eye, I think. I, I really <laughs> hope that they train employees how to like properly do a demo for people in VR. Because that can make or break the experience. For yeah, people. Like, especially when it's still tethered. You know, you've yeah. got people tripping over cables. That's a liability. They should really pay attention to that. Like train people to give demos properly. Like that's important. Yeah. So so let's let's explore that. What what is proper demo procedure? Yeah, um, cleans the lenses, okay. obviously. Uh, well, proper fitment also, because if it's blurry, yeah, you're not gonna want to play it anymore. If you're getting sick whenever you whenever you put it on, you're not gonna want to play. Exactly. You're not gonna like it. Those uh, alcohol wipes. I have a bunch of those with me, uh, and you can bring them yourself, you know, and wipe down the headsets yourself if you, don't, yeah. you know because a lot of people didn't provide them there's like only a couple that I saw well you know I'm not going to call anybody out but I saw some people really German germ freaks yeah like you know like constantly with the hand sanitizer and they were bringing their wipes out and wiping stuff down and I you know I respect them for that you know if they want to be clean that's it but I mean I've put headsets on where I mean the person before me Sweated it up. Oh, dude, that's there's, the worst. There's <laughs> not much I can do with that you know other what? than get a Zorro Ooh, mask right. and use it. Oh, I have people right like here, just straight up. Yeah. I don't think bathe <laughs> yeah. in six months. Oh. Yeah, it's happened. But I'm sorry, but that's what <laughs> so was you. No, One, yeah. uh, that, there's nothing you can do about that. No. Or you see then someone just don't get the dreadlocks, you're just like, oh, no, it doesn't bother <laughs> me. Somebody in the dev Slack chat says that the more sweat, the better your performance is. Uh, just soak all that stuff up in that HMD and it just you get higher frame rate that way uh, I have one it's guy. like putting flames on the side of your car it makes it go faster right sounds about right <laughs> sounds about right water is cool that, is, that, is, that, is that true it, it has to be it was on the internet oh right, right. I talked to one guy who's was really uh, germaphobic he wants to be able to bring his own headset and plug into the demos and try oh it. wow yeah. Um, he got sick extreme. after a conference. Like he had been sick in many, many years, and he got then sick for two months after putting on all this headset. So, mm. telling you uh, guys, he was older. He might, his immune system said he wasn't like when he was young. Oh uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm calling it right now. Rifts demos and VR demos is the reason why Zika virus is going to spread across the world. Zika, <laughs> and we're going to end up like Children of Men that movie. Zika. <laughs> Do you think it's kind of mandatory for VR to be successful for this kind of thing to happen, though? Like, what happens if there are people that can't go in and demo these? Because not everyone can go to SVVR or 
you know, GDC or to, to see VR. And you, not everyone's going to want to spend $500 I mean, on a headset. You, you have to assume that germs are going to spread more prevalently through your hands than they will through your face. I mean, let's think about how, how, how many eyes? people... Your eyes, though, yeah. That's, that's but the fluid. lenses aren't touching your eyes. Your eyelashes are, though. What if I saw uh, it's going to be, like, you know, moist? And... I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I just keep I thinking about everybody. Dog in your eyeballs. Seriously, <laughs> you stop that, Evie. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just, don't, I, I, I don't know. I, it's, I don't think it's a big deal. I, and well, some people do, and it's just, I don't know. Better be safe, maybe. I think. No, but what I'm getting at is like, how important is it for VR to succeed that this is happening? I think that we're getting public demos. I think yeah, it's very important. Yeah, I oh think yeah. It's, because VR is the thing where if you don't put someone in VR, they're not going to get it. Yeah. So people yeah. need to be put into VR or else they're not going to buy into it. And then we're just going to be stuck with, you know, just the VR elite right here being the only ones in VR. And the VR experience is going to be so good that the pink eye is going to be worth it anyway. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's right. That is never true, Does Chris. Pink eye looks different in stereo. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes I want to wear a DK1 just to feel the bad feeling again. Oh, wow. wow. DK1 is sat in no. its box with no. a no. some no. epic dragon VR no. and do some barrel rolls. But I did have an interesting conversation. Uh, I won't get into the whole thing, but the whole thing was, will people do, like, nostalgia where they'll want... They wonder what this would look like. Because, I mean, mm-hmm. come on. Some of us have ROMs from NES games on our phones. Well, right? you, you what about a live so. somatic Bruce stream doing only, like, DK1 demos? Right. You'd, you'd be yes. at the mercy of the SDK because does the 1.0 SDK still support the DK1? I, have to, I think it does. I don't Because Oculus was like, yeah, we're going to support at least the DK2 for as long as they can. So, wait, is, what you're asking is, has anybody plugged it? Uh, uh, has anyone uh, played DK1, DK1 with, with, with SDK1? 1.0. Right. Yeah. Get on that. Like right. Get on that one. Well, wait a second. Has anyone <laughs> even offloaded all those original demos? Like, I still where have are those at? I have them. We can just I have go, a lot of them. We can just go to share, right? No, I'm talking about DK1 demos. Well, like, oh, like the original. Yeah, yeah there's some back on Rift Arcade and stuff. Is there? Right. Sure it didn't exist. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Because I, I can guarantee that stuff will probably disappear eventually. So you may want to well, grab it. Really so, if it was on the well, internet, that means I mean, it's around. Or each one. individual developer will have to really... I can make another release of, yeah. uh, of Teddy Bears versus We should, we should pool together what we've got. Or Land Sharks. <laughs> Teddy Bears versus Land Sharks. But, um, no, that's exciting stuff. Did, did, did everybody at one point look around during the, the, the expo and go, wow, I don't recognize... Half the people standing mm. around me right yeah, now. Yeah, it happened yeah. at GDC. That's a lot, good thing. A lot of noobs. That's a good thing. A lot of noobs. Yep. Um, yeah, one of them actually. Uh, oh, sorry. Pantaloons. There, I said yes, it during you the did podcast. It. <laughs> cool. I said the word pantaloons. Now I've said it twice. So I wasn't not not going to say it. Because I don't even know what it is. Can you don't worry. It's, it's the on. secret mm-hmm. word of the podcast. Yeah. This, Happy yes. Peter. <laughs> there you go, Peter. But no, people who have been part of the community that this was their first time showing up, or people who are just now discovering VR, a um, lot of new faces. And it was encouraging, and it was awesome. I met new people this year. Mm-hmm. And I, I can't say I did last year. I don't think I did last year. Not new people. Well, but, we'll see if they're around next year. Because well, remember, we were yeah, talking about the, the iconic photo taken at SVVR1. S- yeah. Some of those people haven't been seen we, since. There are two or three people in the VR Last Supper picture. Mm-hmm. Who are I wasn't right. in it. Who I wasn't, are in, it. Remember, I wasn't in it either. Blair stood up and said, we don't need to go hang out there. Let's go drink. Right. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, and I, look, I missed out on that picture. Thanks, here, Blair. <laughs> thanks a lot, Blair. I don't. I don't know. I you I know. Feel kind of better now that you were there. <laughs> but 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 the picture was taken, and who you know there are people in that picture. I'm like, wait, who is that? And I kept you know next. I'll, I'll look at. I'll look for him at the next expo. They're gone. They never showed back up. Yeah, a lot of people what, dropped what? off. Yeah, disappeared Definitely. off the face of the planet. And you know, there's. We're yeah. Unless you're in for the long haul, you know, yeah. it's going to take a while. Like I don't think people realize that even the money, like the money, I think is going to take a little bit. Wait, what money? There's I got. Money. Money. I, money? Hey, listen. There's money. Listen. <laughs> Where's the money? Seriously? I actually Here, got a money. VR paycheck last week. <gasps> wow. And it was more than a hundred dollars. I'll just nice. say that. Right? Nice. So. Now, being a VR paycheck, does that mean you can only spend it in VR? No, my wife. So the question is, <laughs> how much have you invested in VR, though? 
Um, it's been more than that. Right. <laughs> but, 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 really, I don't, but not really all that much because, I mean, I've been given vibes. Yeah. I've been given, like, uh, a phone. Like, there's... I've gotten a lot more out of VR than I've probably put in, I would, maybe. So all those giveaways just dried up. Yeah, I don't, I don't know <laughs> at what point. Well, I eventually, I'm going to just be showered That's... with money, so I'm not even Oh, oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Look Six me, months I'm when I'm on PSVR. Yeah. Look at me, I'm a <laughs> dev. Making money. <laughs> Making money. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Is that official? You're going to be on PSVR? Uh, it's not official. I haven't told them yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sony doesn't know it, but my shit's going to be the on The plan is right PSVR, right. Oculus, I mean everywhere, but really, I really think PSVR is going to hit it out of the park. And oh, I yeah. Think sure. it's gonna I think it's going to change the landscape come Christmas time. And I think that it's possible that out of the three, we may lose one after the first year. Yeah. yeah. Like How Maybe. much room is there for? Yeah. Is there enough for three? But hold on, hold on. I would. I, I was really confident in PSVR, um, but there is something that has shaken my confidence just a little bit, and it's that announcement of the PlayStation Neo console. Um, you Four point five. Four point five. Right. Did they announce that officially? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's a real thing. Uh, yeah, Neo. So, so that sort of fragmentation, people are pointing and out. Not really, not though. Gonna, it's not going to mean that you can't use Teach me. the old one. So, so, so what does this mean? So, so I, I read the I read the thing like the Sony's I think rules for the the PlayStation Neo. The Neo exists basically so you can play your PlayStation Four games on a four K TV. That's it. And if you look at the specs that they list out for the Neo versus the PlayStation Four, you can't have Neo exclusive content. Um, you have to make your game compatible with the PlayStation Four. There are no Neo exclusive games. Um, oh. Basically. All the Neo is going to do for your PlayStation 4 stuff is just make it run smoother. So, so you still have to support PlayStation 4. Right. So if you get more PS, sorry, PSVR on PlayStation 4, the regular one, it's going to work fine. Yeah, but it'll probably see. just not look as good. And no, no, it's going to no, look no, fine because Morpheus isn't 4K. It's 1080p. Yeah. Right. right. But th th there are connection and bandwidth issues with jumping up to 4K. So the, four, the, the, the Neo is their answer to Yeah. It's like the bridge to 4K. It's like if your it's like your computer couldn't run the Rift because your USB 3.0 ports weren't right. good enough, so you had to go get that extra card. Mm -hmm. But yep. what it didn't what, increase the performance. It just exactly. means stuff plugs in yeah. now and works. So what I'm asking about PSVR though is, will it afford? Um, since it seems like it's so, there's a, a, an upgrade in the GPU. Uh, for PS Neo or no? No, no, no not enough that it's going to create a performance yeah, difference. Yeah, maybe maybe games. more fill rate, but again, right, just for four. Okay, yeah, it's not. It's like the Note Four, right? Yeah, yeah. Versus S Six <laughs> with the. I don't know. I don't know, but. I'm okay. Not, okay. Yeah. No, but I'm saying yeah, like I as in yeah. performance okay. wise, no, so it's, it's negligible. So yeah. PlayStation is still on on. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I still think it's going to be huge killer. for yeah. for mainstream adoption. Yes. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's still the cheapest option. Yeah. I mean, right. I, I want to make sure that sure. I want to make sure mm -hmm. that my game ends up on PSVR. Yeah. yeah. What game is that? Kyle? That, that's Taurus. I want to make sure Taurus. Wait, I thought. Wait. Wait. I know. I haven't gotten no updates. Dead? You didn't get your update. Can you get your update? I have a shirt. I mean, Everyone always asks me, which it's, Project Taurus? It's been yeah, like over a year, right? It used to be a Kickstarter. What's up with that? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, just a quick note on that. You know, uh, at the time that that Kickstarter was initiated, half these platforms didn't exist. I mean, that was the whole thing was none of these platforms existed. I released the game on the platform that was out. <laughs> Nothing else was out. So now that things are out... Yeah, like everybody else, you want to make sure it works on everything. And so uh, two people at this table have seen the latest iteration of Taurus. It works. And it works. It I can't confirm it works. Well, Gear <laughs> VR, uh, Vive, Oculus Rift, um, Cardboard maybe, probably. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but that was the whole point. And it'll still come out. And it'll Sweet. come out. And it'll be out and available. But I put a Kickstarter update out to let everybody know that it's still coming. It's but everybody got their T-shirts, right? Everybody got their original yeah. promised. The, the the promise was that you will get the demo when it was ready, and I delivered that. And if you read it, it says, "And you will have access to every platform version of the rest of the game when it's done." Read Mic it. Drop. When it's done. Mic drop. <laughs> 
Yeah. When it's done. Mic drop. That's right. So, you know, for those of you haters out there, you one person, you egotistical nitwit, as I called you. As I called I you. That on, reference. Yeah. On, on Reddit. Uh, but, but this is, and, and the only reason I brought that up is the segue is to Six Cents and their Kickstarter. Uh, oh, nice. Nice. Announcements. Done. I like that. Announcements. Uh, what, what, how many people here, uh, there are what, eight of us, uh, backers of STEM? First, um, first of all, fill me on this announcement. Three, fill me four, in. Five. For those who might not I will. Okay, first of all, what right, announcement? Go ahead, right. go ahead Kyle. Well, the, the, the original, I'm going to try to be as objective as possible. The original update was that there would be an announcement prior to SVVR. There was no announcement prior to SVVR. Then I went to Amir and said, where's the announcement? And he said, come back in 24 hours. And I came back in 24 hours. And he said, well, actually, he wasn't there. And then he emailed me. He said, I'm sorry. Find me tomorrow at 11 a.m. At 9.14, Bob, Kenny, and I were waiting for our Uber. And drop, boom, here's the update. Kickstarter update. Uh, that STEM is going to... Uh, where it was going to ship by the end of April is now going to ship by the end of October. Or you will have the option to wait until March of 2017 and get their updated version of it. And so Bob and I went at 11 a.m. to Amir and said, what's going on? And for the rest of the information, you're going to want to watch the very, very... Uh, detailed and thorough explanation that he gave that was on Periscope and then I'll put it on YouTube. Uh, but but the reality of it is I'm waiting until March to get the goods. And I would probably encourage most others to do so as well. What's going to be different from the... Uh, uh, from the? It is substantially upgraded. It's like the difference between DK1 and CB1. It, it okay. really is. Yeah. It really the October is. thing is a dev kit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and plus, and, and, and all I'm going to say is I asked the question about refunds because the community wanted me to. And so I asked the question about refunds. If you want to know more about it, you can listen to Amir's words through YouTube or the Periscope video, whatever. That's that's you know it's up to you to to watch and interpret that as need be, but uh, but yeah I mean that was really the only hot button controversy. Yeah, Is there, any, there was anything else that was pretty lighthearted. It seem, seems mm. like this SVVR was really light when it came to things that were presented. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I was kind of surprised that I thought maybe there would be bigger presences. Presence. Ah, of, presence. Of, no, uh, nice. <laughs> Like, wasn't there supposed to be, like, four announcements on, like, Wednesday or something? I don't even know what they were. Well, there's here's an elephant in the room, I think. And you guys were became aware that Samsung announced that they were going to... Not announced, but the information got confirmed that they are releasing their own HMD. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. And that's big, right? Isn't right. Samsung the second largest Oculus company in the world? Name? No. 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 This is a standalone thing. Uh -huh. And I started speculating, mulching in my mind, what does this mean? Why you know if they're if they're not mentioning Oculus and maybe they will later on, but could but in my mind is in my well they're not going to be able to do it without John Carmack's mojo underneath the Android you say that system. John Carmack's already done the work for them though right but they they still need his their sensors and his software I mean there's got to be some sort of you, I mean you say that right? they've already but written well, he's why would it still be right, software but you think Samsung is, is going to say sorry I'll tell you why here's the scenario well hang on hang on too many people talking so here's the scenario here's what I thought maybe maybe and this is complete speculation bullshit. Tim, maybe Tim Samsung, yeah, Tim Full Hat on. Maybe Samsung realized, uh, or maybe Samsung lost confidence in Oculus being able to deliver a product worldwide. Yeah, I don't buy that. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, You've you seen this what? launch. No, no. Here's How about the thing. that Oculus launch? Here's the thing. Do you know what this means? It means that they're going to have another way to deliver the Gear VR content on more headsets. That Samsung is basically giving Oculus more customers. 
But because if Samsung, it's not like Samsung's going to come out with a headset. It's going to compete against its own headset using a different platform for delivery method for software. What this is a good thing, especially for indie developers, because now instead of having to buy an eight hundred dollar sub or subsidized Gear VR compatible phone plus the hundred dollar, no, you can buy for whatever two ninety nine that they come out with a phone without all the radio gizmos and hoo-ha. We don't know that, though. We don't yeah, know. It's people a cost of what? More People can keep all their iPhones no, why would there be, and well, still have... The fragmentation would run everything yeah. that the Note 4, S6, S7 has. And in It'd addition be. to the Note 4, the S6, and the S7, and whatever the hell else is going to be compatible with the yeah, latest but Gear it's VR. Like, oh, it's going to be is they're going to take an S7, they're going to rip out all the gizmos and do you the know guts that? out of it. No, but I mean, come on, that's what they're going to do. We don't know that. That's yeah, we what don't they're going to do. We don't know that. It's okay, well, then give me an alternative of what they that they're. I think it's going to be Make an a, own platform. An own platform, yeah. Like, no. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you, man. They've seen they how want, it's done. They, they want work that with Oculus. cash cow. They want. Tell you what. Tell you what. Keith, Chris, I owe you guys a steak dinner if they come out with anything other than a Samsung phone with the guts ripped out. I'll buy you what? the Hang on, strongest on marijuana actually. on Whoa. the planet. <laughs> steak? I like steak. If I, like I, lose steak. Steak. I, I, I can't match that off. I, 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 I live in Seattle. That's that's not really that appealing. But, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, Get your own, right? That's right. <laughs> I should probably steak. have offered that to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think things I'm down are going to... Thank all you. Right, we'll my, my prediction is things in the mobile area are going to heat up Extranomaly, and you, you can go back and listen to my podcasts from three years ago. <laughs> oh, sorry. I said bubble was going to be a thing. It was going to be the thing, and it's why when you look at my podcast icon, that little Android dude, it's got the wings and the halo because I knew from the beginning that and, and people laughed at it. Like, a phone's going to can be able to handle VR, and the closer we got to it, and then afterwards, like ah, uh, and now here you are saying it's going to heat up. I love it. Yeah, no. I, I mean, I think that's ultimately the plan that it will all go yep. to mobile, mobile, that technology. That's right? right. Like, but I think this next year is going to be really interesting because I have a sneaky suspicion that there's going to be some surprises coming. Well, yeah, so. I think about round around middle of end of May, there might <laughs> be some stuff happening. Uh, Google, IO, IO, yeah. I mean, the Gear VR competitor, that's what it is, right? Mm, I mean, let's we, say it's going to open some doors for some people, I think. Oh, all right. I'll, I think it's the Gear VR competitor. Level the playing ground. How about that? Can you be more specific? What are you saying? <sighs> because the things that people have to understand that make Gear VR so special is the fact that Carmack was allowed in the back door of the kernel. And without that, it's one of the reasons why... Apple iPhone is going to have a, we're not going to get into that, but you have to have low level access to the operating system. That's why Gear VR works and, and good cardboard doesn't. But cardboard is owned by Google and Google makes Android. And if Google allows low level access to that kernel stuff that they let Carmack have, basically give the Carmack mojo to everyone. That will level the playing ground. I'm yeah. going to do a slight correction. Google okay. maintains Android. Samsung, as far as I know, they forked Android. Okay. And we don't know how far that has diverged well, from Trunk. They, they forked it so hard. it, Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> it's, it's you're right. But still, I mean, that's that's the gist. They have a lot of, of smart people at Google, for it's, sure. It's yeah. the gist of it. And, and so what's going to end up happening is, you know, 1,000 hertz sensors plus low-level access to the kernel equals awesome sauce for everybody, not just gear VR. Yeah. You know. I've got a great segue for this, talking about mobile and VR, if we want to. Um, I got a fellow who came by the booth today, tried uh, Giant Cop, and was telling me that he spoke to Reggie at Nintendo. And I guess insider info is that the NX is going to be either a VR or AR solution with phones as controllers. No. What? Wait, what? That's that impossible. Where did you hear that from? Some guy who said who came by my booth today and said that he talked to Reggie at Nintendo, and he's got some info that says that NX is going to be either VR or AR something. Well, yeah. I talked to Steve at Oculus. <laughs> Hello, <it's> Oculus. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie being the no the Nintendo. Yeah, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. of course, Reggie. With, with, yeah. the, with the last name I can't pronounce, so I don't right. know. Phil's aim, something like that. Fiam, I think, or is how he's. What I just maybe, hope uh, is Olivier will 
yell at me later. Right. <laughs> All I hope is whatever happens, it doesn't completely fork what I'm working on. Like <laughs> has happened before. Like this is this always happens. Like something new comes out, and then it's like, holy shit, I gotta go there. And oh, God. you're gonna have to go there. Yep. Just be prepared. <sighs> five years. You just need to wait five months. No. Wait five months, and then no. Then. Every year, this is going to be more and more platforms that developers <laughs> right. are going to have to either support or choose. Well, like I said at lunch today, I think you were sitting there. I, you know, you could say I need to buy a car. I'm going to buy that 2016, whatever. But, but wait, there's the 2017. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to wait until that one comes down to price a little bit, and then you wait, and all of a sudden it's like, ooh, the 2018 now. That's how I feel about my video really card. good like features, the series right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's like, what do you Pascal do? Do you wait for series. Pascal or not? I, dude, just stop waiting. Jump, jump in and buy. <laughs> that's and what I'm gonna do. I figure whatever it. is state of the art at the end of July, that's what I'm buying. There you go. I'm giving myself till July. There you go. Don't keep waiting until the next generation. You'll never get one at all. Mm-hmm. Take it from the folks from Duke Nukem. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it took them forever to make that uh-huh. game. That's right. Uh, Literally, Duke Nukem hey, forever. Do you know Duke what? Nukem VR coming soon. Right. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> there is Duke VR. Yeah, there that is. is. Yeah. Well, Brian, I'll tell you what. Um, I, I think that uh, I think we've explored a lot in this podcast. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, and then I don't know what time they close the doors. I don't want to be trapped in here. You don't want to be trapped in here. I mean, it's this <laughs> awesome press room. I don't very know. acoustic. But I mean, hey, we can. Does anyone have any announcements? Stuff that they're working on? Want the community to know? Like, Giantcop.com. Cop. All right, cool. Giantcop.com, yeah. Don't go to that other website. No. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that, they're affiliated with Penn Pen Island. Penn Island, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, Penn Island. Penn Island.net. Kenny, what do you what do you got to announce, man? What do I got to announce? Um, I don't know. I'm I'm here and yeah, that's yeah. about it. No, I, this was fantastic. I, I had a lot of fun and. Um, can't wait to do do it again next year and uh, and uh, yeah. Oh, we'll have OC two probably before then. You yeah, that's right. OC3. OC3. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. that's OC three. Yeah, three. Yeah, I know. Just yeah. time travel and repeat OC two. Right. I wouldn't mind that. That was awesome. <laughs> That'd be weird. Damn that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a lot of fun at OC two. That was uh, that was another oh yeah the crazy beach. event. Beach is crazy. And yeah, we, uh-huh. we can uh, we can still see you and find you at Gunter's Universe, can't we? Yes, I believe you yeah. can. Yeah. And any 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 cool uh, new stuff happening there that we uh, should know about? Well, um, as you, uh, some of you probably have seen, uh, VR Chat is working on a new uh, an upgraded platform, and uh, um, you know motion control support and interactivity is uh, is coming your way, Terms. and uh, it's it's great. Um, you know, for the folks that tried the the demo, um, it, it adds a whole new level of just you know. Whole, Whole new world <laughs> with, with most Oh, new That's right. Oh, sorry. That's karaoke. Yeah. Yeah. I know VR chat karaoke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, other than that, uh, um, yeah, coming in any, every uh, Tuesday, we're always uh, doing cool stuff, interviewing people, and, you know, if you want to get the latest scoop on uh, what's going on in the VR industry, uh, come on down. Sweet. Come on down. Yeah. How about you, Josh? Announce something. Big Announce. announcement. Big announcement. <laughs> Man, I got my rift. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Join the Finally. club. I know. So no, 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 no big announcement. Just I, I appreciate you guys letting me uh, hang out with you guys. It's been great. So I'm hoping uh, I'll see you guys on the next next Ubercast. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we we always appreciate yeah. you know newcomers and yeah. yeah fresh fresh ideas. Yes. Yeah. So let's see. What does Reverend Kyle have to announce? Uh, yeah. So Project Taurus is now Taurus. And coming soon to a uh, HMD near you. Plus, uh, you know, the podcast is uh, still floating out there. Go to uh, ReverendKyle.com, which now uh, directs you to RevVRStudios.com, or you can go to iTunes or Stitcher and consume the podcast. Consume it. (laughs) Eat it. Take it. What's the status of your book, Kyle? Oh, yeah, the book. Keith, you're only happy about it because you're on the last page. Oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, you so, saved the best for last. I appreciate it. Well, and it's just really funny because how it's evolved. Um, yes, I am, I am writing I'm writing the story of, of me getting into VR and getting to a point where it's like, holy crap, how did I get here? And then the, it's like kind of cyclical. But, you know, 
uh, it's one big giant flashback for me, and it's been flowing out of my brain over the course of the last couple months. Uh, no, no specific time as to when it'll be done or how long it'll be, but uh, it kind of ends with Keith and I walking up the street of, of the streets of San Francisco, leaving the what was it, the Minecraft party? No, 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 it was, uh, the, it was the, uh, the, the Valkyrie the, party. The Valkyrie mm-hmm. party, yeah. because uh, GDC this year represents the final conference before consumer launch, so the book stops after consumer launch. This is the journey, not the finale. And so uh, it's, it's in, there's no working title or anything. It's it, probably have the word there journey. And it's some, yeah, I know, right? By. There, there <laughs> and staying there. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so, yeah, look for that, um, you know, probably after the new year. What about you, Bob? For me, uh, let's see. We're going to be recording another Left End of VR podcast episode uh, this upcoming week as soon as I get back. And you can always, again, Gunner's Universe every Tuesday night. Yeah, we might do uh, another show, a news show or something like that. We've been tossing around. Who knows? May or may not happen. But me and Bob are having fun. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Uh, all right. So I have about eight to ten episodes of the Enter VR podcast in the backlog that at some point I'm going to release all at once because um, that's my style. Um, and then s- this coming Monday, May 1st, I think, I, uh, I'm going to attempt to go 100 hours inside of virtual reality. <laughs> yes, oh, that's no, right. Talking about it. Yes. So I'm going to attempt to go 100 hours without having to take off the HMD. I'm going King to, me, I have a present for you. Um, so follow at EnterVR. Um, <laughs> because leading up to the, uh, the experiment, I'm going to start tweeting and telling, all right, T minus 9, T minus 10 hours before I go in. Sweet. And then, um, and then yeah. What platform are you using? Uh, the Vive and the Rift. I'm trying to be impartial. Um, nice. Now, now that we got our, our Rift from Best Buy. And then <laughs> what I'm thinking of doing in there is I'm going to be, one, Netflix and chillin'. Uh, two, I'll be... Are you going to be live streaming the chillin' as well? <laughs> uh, hopefully there won't be any issues with like uh, IP or whatever because I'm not, i got to catch up on House of Cards. And then uh, number two, I'm going to be using the Unreal Engine editor, the VR editor, mm-hmm. and I'm going to be God. And I'm going to make nice. all sorts of cool shit. Um, and then whatever scenes I create, I'll just leave out for free so people can, you know, use them or do whatever, or just check it out. Um, and then the other thing I'll do is I'm going to be teaching some things, um, things that I've learned in VR and how to podcast about VR, because why not? And then I'm just going to go through every demo out there. Um, a lot of hover junkers. I'm going to catch up on some hover junkers. Oh, so that means that we should all jump in and play. Hell yes. yes. Yeah. Play me, all of you. I yes. challenge Z. Um, also, some social VR. I'm gonna be hanging out. I'm gonna make sure I'm not lonely in there, so I'm gonna be going into right. VR chat, going I into alt space. Have a feeling is it gonna over cross over on a Tuesday? Yeah, yeah. And then so I, I could just you could swing just come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. I'll All be right. down. Um, so that's coming up this coming on Monday. I'm going to attempt to be a first guy. Wow. So still right. gotta figure out the Fantastic. toilet thing. Yeah. yeah, that'd be pretty just, shitty just if you did. <laughs> pretty <laughs> shitty. Just put my yeah. pants. Yeah, just yeah. put my pants. Yeah. You'll be fine. Astronaut and, diapers. Um, well, you gotta use a vibe for that. You could just use a pastor camera. Yeah, yeah, but they they sabled the camera. Those bastards. So I have to. Wow. We have to. You know, we have to hack there's it. Work around. So, yeah, yeah. There's workarounds. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, for me, we hey. got pod via. Didn't you already say something? I said something, but oh, I see, you <laughs> cut the order. Yeah, go ahead, man. There's all kinds oh, of cross talk. I love it. Is it kicking in right now? <laughs> 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 all right, go for it. Yeah, man, VR chat's killing it. We had a great demo. We've heard a lot of uh, fantastic talk and the buzz spread. And yeah, we got uh, hand controls now. The Vive, it's pretty fantastic. A lot of you guys have been in there with it, so the show's going to grow. VR chat's gonna grow. I'm growing within VR chat. We're gonna have events going on every day, except maybe Saturday, because I gotta spend some time with the wife and kids. I don't have kids. Um, you want some of mine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty to go around. Um, and I think the show's gonna get more interactive. We got some great guests coming up. We have uh, well, Ryan from Meta just signed on, so that's cool. Oh I met all kinds of people. Uh, the Void's gonna return because I went and got to try the Void experience a few days ago, and that rock Ooh. wow. Um, Christina from VR Playhouse, Keith from Giant Cop, he's coming on. Cop. So that's what's been really great is to network and do a bunch of stuff. I had. To <laughs> 
Um, I had to work a lot though with the VR chat booth and back at the house that we have. So it's been an exhausting conference, but it's been great. And I'm glad I got to see all of you. Especially yeah, it was you, good Mark. to see you, Billy. Yeah. yeah. Always. Always. Party time. Let's go take acid after this. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) That escalated really quickly. You know, so everybody knows before you go, Brian, everybody knows my rule, right? What? Does everybody know my rule? You have a rule? I have a rule. And and, and they're both in the room, so I'm going to say it together. I have a rule. We can go to these expos, these VR things. You never eat anything that's been given to you <laughs> by Gunter or Chris Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was already warned. <laughs> you were already warned. I was already warned. You don't eat anything <laughs> from yeah. either of those two. You <laughs> end up. I don't want to have fun. You, okay. you end up running into the ocean, and the next thing you hear is, "Don't let Reverend Kyle drown." <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> or the last thing you remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm that still night. sorry, Nick. Uh, well, at any rate, <laughs> I'll uh, send us off. So, you know, this has been Ubercast number three. I'll talk, you know, we have Pod VR. We're probably going to do an episode when we get back. I got a company called Foundry, uh, Foundry VR, foundryvr.com. Um, a game on the gear, turret attack. Go buy it Wait, if what? you can. Turret. Turret, not turd. <laughs> we to call it turret attack, which it is. Yeah, it, you need it to is what it is. That's you need to make that game, too. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that game is the shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Chris could play it during his 100 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Send me a code. There's a new game coming. Um, we've been working on it for about five, six months. I'm hoping to have a demo soon. It's called Dungeon uh, Tales, and uh, hopefully you guys will see it soon. But... Um, other than that, uh, you know, it's been great seeing all you guys here again. Totally. And I can't wait to do yeah, it again. Absolutely. And uh, to the community, just, you know, keep on trucking along. Keep on trucking. Keep Is on trucking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, grateful Cue country music. <laughs> 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 Boom. <laughs>